good morning Lego addicts. It is January 1st and that can only mean one thing. There is a boutique hotel with my name on it. It's currently quarter past eight in the morning. I'm planning on driving to Bristol so I can get that quite early. I have literally no idea what a sensible time is to get there. So I'm just gonna go early and like if nobody's there, I'll just have a little wander around and if there's people there, then I'll just join the queue. I got myself a hot water bottle because my tummy's upset with me. And also I got myself a hot, like a uh, tea flask, so I have some tea to drink. Got some cardboard so I can sit on cardboard if I need to. So I feel like I'm relatively prepared for this, but I don't know if I'm over prepared, under prepared. I don't know if I'm like way too early or like too late. This is so weird, like I've never done this. There isn't even really a good purchase that, I, that there is to get but I obviously am off until the 4th of January, so I really just want to get the boutique hotel so I can build it now whilst I'm off and I get to enjoy it and add it to the city. That is why I'm going to the store. There is two things with my name on it. I may get a few other small smets, small smets, small sets, but yeah, I'm very, very excited, but also incredibly unsure about what I'm doing. <laughs> I just got to my car. Luckily, it's such a mild day. Like the weather is really, really quite warm, really. It's more like autumn than winter. So that's really good. So it won't be crazy cold or anything like that. I feel like a bit silly for doing this, but at the same time, like I've been excited for this for so long. Like, why am I taking this away from myself? So yeah, let's see what we'll find. Hopefully there's some people that I know. Hopefully this is going to be fun um maybe i'll have to have a little walk we don't know as long as we can get the boutique hotel i'm happy <laughs> let's go all righty i have arrived um if the drive was always this easy i would do it way more often no traffic beautiful sunset uh, sunset sunrise and yeah this is really delightful thank you let this adventure start and see how silly I am. I honestly don't know how crazy I've been to come here this early. I feel like an idiot, but at the same time, I'm really excited still. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we still have an hour to go. Um, the tiger has been spotted. That whole tiger is on the shelves. Also Sonic somewhere. Oh yeah, just behind. I can, you can see it behind the butthole tiger. <laughs> it's 10. This is the line. Whee! Dedication. It has been put out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There is so many people here. Q half an hour. Turns out I wasn't so crazy after all. It's uh, half an hour to go. Josh is here. Hi, Josh. <laughs> I was here third, and um, now there's a crazy crew. I've put my mask on in preparation. The queue is all the way back to the Santa. <laughs> but it's fine. We're just gonna walk in, get our busy hotel, and then buy that, and then have a browse. I got it! I was first! I like the box design as well. Alrighty, just left the Lego store. Um, I got, I was first in with the modular, so that's pretty exciting. The queue is still insane though, look at this. It's still all the way back here, look how far that is. Crazy stuff. All right, well that experience has happened. Um, it turned out I timed it perfectly because when I was there, I was the third person together with Josh and one other bloke. And literally from when I got there, people started arriving and the queue ended up absolutely insanely long. Turns out it wasn't just for the modular though, because Sonic was releasing, there was a lot of people there for Sonic as well. I think it was just like that, January 1st, oh, I'm off. I'd love to build this set thing as well. So um, it wasn't just modular. I think it was the two of those combined really got the people to come. And even when I left, you'll see in the footage, there was still a really good queue and it was half an hour after the store opened. Honestly, I was not expecting that many people. Whole video incoming. Whoop, whoop. I am home and I bought some stuff and I've spent all my money on Lego. Tell me of something I don't know. Oh. So, uh, yes, I am home from the Lego store. 
Oh my god. January 1st is a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So this haul comes in three parts. So let's start with the first part. The first part is slightly older, but it's this set. Oh no, put it upside down. This set. <laughs> It is the Lunar New Year Ice Festival. You all know how much I adore the Lunar New Year sets. Um, I think this one is beautiful. I had 20 pounds to spend on um, lego.com. So I've purchased this set when that came out on December 26th, which got delivered a few days ago. I've got a clip of my excitement, which you can now watch. The box has arrived. Eat. There we go. As you can see, very, very excited. So this is the first purchase. I am super, super excited about all the stuff that's in here. And I think I'll be building that on live stream very soon. Then, for small bag first, this is the first bag of my purchases in a Le Bristol Lego store today. Um, this is the small bag. So I'll start with the smallest thing first. The smallest thing is this. They've actually come up with a pound, which I thought was quite a lot to be fair, um, like price wise. They used to be five pounds for three and now it's six pounds for three. It's still a good deal compared to like the individual minifigures for the CMF ones, which are 3 dollars each. But at the same time, there's a bit like, mm, six pounds make them, like it pushes us over that sort of like impulse buy amount for me. Like five pounds seems little, so I'm like, yeah, I can get that. Six pounds is like a bit more close to 10, which is too too scary. So, so that's my first purchase. Secondly, also relatively small, is this little set. So it's my first city set in quite a while. This is quite an easy little purchase to do. I think this was quite popular as well. I saw quite a lot of people pick it up. It's a new city set, Picnic in the Park. The reasons I liked it is because of the yellow bicycle, which I don't have in my city and you know how many bikes I have. I also like that there's like a little um, car that it's pulling. I really like the new hair piece, the little minifigure hair piece, um, the new minifigure torso, which is cute. And obviously, importantly, it comes with two squirrels. So there is the ginger and the black squirrel and then the new acorn pieces, which are adorable. So I had to pick this up. I just thought I can use all of these pieces in my city like straight away. It's not going to be a waste of space. So I just had to like just get it as a little fun build. It's only £13, so super easy to justify. And the minifigure, there's three minifigures in it, which I thought would be good. Um, so I can definitely recommend this on. Super great. Good value. So that's that bag. Next up. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> You'll have seen in my haul, I was in first, um, well, I was in third essentially, but I got in with Josh. We bought this amazing set together. We were first and second at the till, just the best. I am so excited about this build. You have no idea. Honestly, like you can see at the moment, you can see there is a space like open for it, ready for this to go. I am so ready for this build. I don't think I'll do this on live stream. I just want to kind of experience this build and build it like in my own spare time, just me listening to a good audio book because it's been a while since I've done that. Um, we're gonna <laughs> determine if I like the palm tree, but I'm so, so thrilled to have it in my hands. Sadly, there was no gift of purchase, nothing at all in the Lego store when I was there literally nothing not even a poly bag which was a little bit disappointing but i did know that before going down so it didn't come as a surprise to me on the day but yeah in a way i was kind of like it would have been really nice to have gotten something like a token of our like you know commitment to lego because honestly the queue was insane there were so many people there like i really feel like they there could have been something to like thank these people for their commitment. I know theoretically, like they obviously don't need to give us a gift of purchase because we were we were there either way, but it would have been nice to have something. However, I am still super, super thrilled I got this on day one. I don't regret getting it without a gift of purchase. That is what's happened. I think it's beautiful and I cannot wait to share this with you. I may even do a review depending on what I think once I've built it. I know like literally every man and his dog is in a review on this, but I may just need to talk about it. We'll have a, we'll have a chat later. But wait, that's not all. I may not have this thing physically to show you, so I'll insert a picture here. Wow, look at this set that I 
don't have in my hands but will get soon. So whilst I was in the queue um, waiting for the modular and waiting for the Lego store to open, I was kind of keeping an eye on what they were putting on the shelves because I have obviously got my eye on the City of Lanterns monkey kit set that I really, really wanted. Um, but I had heard rumours that those vowels. I had heard rumours that they wouldn't be in stores, so I was kind of like keeping an eye out on what they were putting on the shelves just to see if the City of Lantern set was coming out, and it really obviously wasn't coming out, like they didn't put any of the Monkey Kit sets on the shelves, which I think is a huge waste because I think this is such a strong like lineup of sets they really should have these in stores i think it's a huge missed opportunity for lego i don't know if they're planning on rolling them out to smaller stores later on but at the moment they're just not there none of the new sets even though i know there's quite a lot of hype and excitement around it especially the city of lanterns i've heard a lot of good things about that but as i was seeing that it wasn't coming out i just decided whilst i was in the queue to order it online so that is coming um, in two to four business days, <laughs> so probably sometime next week, which is fine. Um, I'm probably going to be building that on live stream, but I'm really, really excited for that to get in my hands, and that was definitely my January 1st purchases. So, no giver purchases, hundreds of pounds spend them Lego, but I am just so very excited to get into building this. I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to go get building. Hope you all had some fantastic purchases on Jan 1st as well. I hope you got what you wanted. I hope you didn't buy too many impulse things and if you're still waiting on your lego i'm sure it's going to be amazing when it does arrive so have fun with all your amazing lego sets thank you so very much for watching i will check in with you soon don't forget to like and subscribe maybe click the bell become a member if you want to support this channel honestly i can't do it without you i have such a wonderful little community here that i'm thankful for every single day of the week and i will see you in the next one guys how do I have Lego. I have Lego. That's a good noise. See y'all later.